All right, man. Hold on one second. I'm gonna start these videos too soon. This is man. This is this is this. I'm jacked. <laughs> I'm jacked. It's the beginning of a, another nine-week cycle of weight loss. I am down about a hundred pounds now. At 53 years old, say it isn't so. Feels good, man. So this video has a purpose. There's a purpose. Let me just get on the road here. If you're fat and you are bummed out and you just don't even know where to start with fitness and weight loss and, and exercise and the gym, I have a suggestion. It worked for me. Join a boxing class. I, I've kind of done it all. You know, I've done all kinds of different exercises and running and, you know, yoga classes and weight training and, and uh, you know, even boot camp and all that stuff. And a little bit of everything. Typo and you name it. Insanity. Sanity is cool. Hard on the knees, though. But the reason I say this is for a number of reasons. First and foremost, I, I found it good for me to just get in with some people and get motiv motivated and get get some accountability, too, because the girls at the desk, man, they're going to be like, you tell them, man, it's like, yeah, man, I'm 260 pounds and, you know, I feel terrible and I got to get it together, man. And, and, and then they're going to watch you and you come in every day and you... You're giving it your all and you know the first few months you're gonna look terrible out there you're gonna look like an idiot in boxing class especially when you're surrounded by a bunch of 24 year old girls that are like you know a bunch of little Bruce Lee's kicking booty and you're like some fat F you you know what I mean but you don't worry about that you let that fuel you you do not back down from the freaking challenge so and the reason I say this is because like I said, I've done it all. I like boxing personally, and there's a number of reasons. Um, I like boxing, and I like boxing classes because one, one, there's the camaraderie. Also, it's everybody's in their own trip. People aren't really necessarily ever gonna look at you because they got their own stuff going on, so you can really kind of zone in. The other thing too that I've learned over the years uh, for weight loss is great to do things with your hands above your heart because it really activates your heart rate and it's just really good especially if you're not athletic or you're not your cardiovascular is poor from you know eating junk food and sitting on a couch and playing xbox or whatever you know boxing kind of like will wind you no matter where you're at so <laughs> i found for myself sometimes i've been so out of shape that certain things i just can't even do so i can't even get anything out of it with with boxing class you can always kind of go like this uh, the other thing I think, and you know, this is very personal and I'm, I'm, I'm very well versed in this and, uh, most fat people are pissed off. Most fat people are angry and because they're hurt. Somebody hurt them, the girl, the guy, dad, this, the system, you know, the mom the, there's always you know there's there's usually some pain in there I mean not everybody's got pain fat people seem to fixate on it sometimes and also it turns into anger and then they become these fat people that are just angry and I think it's just good to get out there and just hit something especially when you're just starting out and you just you know most people that have been fat for you know 10 15 five years whatever they've tried to lose weight 50 times they've tried Atkins they've tried Weight Watchers they've you know bought slim fast you know they bought all these stupid ab cruncher machines on by Jillian Michaels and all this junk wasted their money so by the time you know you may get to this video you may be pretty defeated and that's okay, you know, because, you know, there's something to be said about bottoming out and being not humbled, humiliated. I mean, I was humiliated and beaten 
20 months ago. I was almost 300 pounds, I was sick. I had no self-esteem, I had no clothes. I couldn't even, I couldn't even look my wife in the eyes half the time, I felt like such a loser. You know? And I'm supposed to be inspiring young artists, you know what I mean? It's like, I was, felt like a fraud a lot of times. I mean, I did my job, but I'm, I'm a different person now. So anyway, I, I just say this because it's really great. I started out, I've been boxing most of my life. Um, and I started this weight journey. I moved to, North, 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 to Nashville and I started at Hot Box. And it's this heated kind of cardio kickboxing in the gulch. And I went pretty much kind of like three to five days a week for, I don't know, six or eight months. Pretty much steady. Um, I bought the, you know, the unlimited six month pet, pet plan and just said, you know what, instead of spending my money at Taco Bell, I'll give it to these fools and see what they can do. And I started going to this, this hot box, you know, and my buddies down there, Hannah and, and Kyle and Maris, and, you know, all the girls down there that, that, that box and train Nicole and man, they saved my freaking life. I mean, I, they don't know. They don't know what they did for me. They'll never know. But, you know, they freaking kept an eye on me. They're like, yeah, hey, you're looking good, man. How's your food? I saw you on Facebook. And, oh, I saw you at pizza the other night. You're all, you're all right? You know, like, and I was always bringing in my pictures. And, you know, and between Instagram and Facebook, everybody knows what the hell everybody's doing anyway. But but it meant a lot to me. And, and the class was like 60 minutes nonstop, you know, aggressive, dark, pounding hip-hop. You know, and and it was where I was at, and it, you know, I was mad. I was I was angry. I was angry about myself. I was angry at society. I was angry at my family. I was, you know, I just I I was just I was just frustrated and pissed off, and there was just nothing better than just hitting a heavy bag. And I went there, and I got my food straight, and I learned while I was there. I was figuring out. I was like, do I want to be paleo? Do I want to be keto? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? And you know, I finally landed where I landed, which is another video. But um, and it, it was amazing. And I, you know, I probably lost 50 pounds at Hotbox. And then Hotbox for me ran its course, and not because of Hotbox, but because my wife got a, you know, got a promotion at work. Her schedule changed. It just became too difficult with the kids and Cub Scouts and church and after school and childcare to get down to the gulch. It was too much. I was starting work too late. And unfortunately I had to let it go. And uh, it was a bummer, but I just couldn't handle it anymore. Um, and then Title Box opened up here in East Nashville, right down the street from my house. And I joined. And uh, it's great. You know, I mean, it's, it's 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 a little bit a little bit different than Hotbox, but you know I mean at the end of the day you know you're bouncing around you're banging stuff, and there's things about each one of them that I really like and I just I love it, and I bought this wetsuit I don't know if you can see it it's a company called Quick Cut with a K, Quick Cut, and I wear this and it's like I'm in Hotbox, I sweat like crazy. And uh, you know I'm starting to make some friends over there, and and they're they're excited about my progress, and you know I'm I'm getting out more of this stuff, you know all this the reasons I ate, and it, you know I ate first and foremost for a sugar addiction, but there were a lot of other psychological and emotional components to my my food issues, and I find that the boxing's been helpful, and I, I'm starting to feel more more masculine, more. Uh, alpha male, you know, I, I, I've been I've been studying this this strength and conditioning coach. Oh, I think I'm here. Named, uh, yeah, Whew, that was quick. Uh, Elliot Hulse, Hulse. He goes by Yo Elliot on YouTube. Anyway, he's been talking a lot about like people's cardiovascular and how it can how it how it connects to their posture and how their posture connects to their their emotions because he sa he says that there's there's it's not like there's the body and there's the mind there is no separation it's one 
So meaning the old adage, you know, you see the guy that's walking around all down in the dumps and his shoulders are all rotated. There's something to that. So I've been studying this thing, you know, that he's teaching about, you know, improving your core. And it's not just core strength, like some corny, you know, infomercial core strength. It's, it's really about like getting your spine straight, getting getting your body to breathe correctly, standing up straight, lining up or stacking your, you know, your ankles, your, your hips, your shoulders, your ears, you know, so that you can do things like front squats and overhead pressing and clean and jerk and stuff. But I don't know what I'm getting at, but the whole thing he was talking about, you know, was about you know, where it's our natural instincts to feel virile and, and, and it ties into sexualness and, and our libido and our testosterone and it's our mind, it's how we feel, it's our heart, it's where our heart is and the boxing has been helping me to not be so scared, to be totally honest with you and to say this is, you know, this is, I'm um, being vulnerable, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not some trendy ass LA dude, but I'm vulnerable. But you get what I'm saying, you know? Because I was really scared for a long time. You know, being, being, I was just scared. I've been, I've been scared in a lot of ways all my life. And there's a million reasons, but who cares, right? We just need a solution. Uh, you know, I don't care about my problems. I don't care about your problems. I care about solutions. So, and I say this because I went to all this because this morning I went to Title Box and there was a dude sitting there and, you know, he was, he looked like me two years ago and, you know, I, I felt his out of placeness and he wasn't fighting. He was, he apparently had done the earlier class and was just sitting and watching, which was very cool. I didn't know. I thought like he said, hey, I'm thinking of joining. Can I just sit and watch? So I'm fighting. You know, I'm, I'm boxed doing the class and I keep, I can see him out of the corner of my eye and he's just sitting there and, you know, he's got that, he's got that Netflix posture <laughs> and he's got that, you know, fast food skin. I went over to him a couple times and I'm like, how's it going, man? I, you know, I, 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 I punched his shoulder lightly. I was like, hey, what's going on, man? Almost like, come on out. I didn't know what the scenario was. So... It got me thinking a lot about myself and how weird I felt and how weird I felt when I've been at the gym and out of place and you know, and you know what, just don't, don't, just do it. Just put your blinders on and do it, man. But I, after I got out, I talked to the girl and she's like, hey, you know, that guy that was sitting there, did you see him? I said, yeah, of course I saw him. I could stare at him for an hour. It's like, yeah, she said, he did the class before. I'm like, oh good, I was wondering. He was just sitting there, I felt, I was like, wanted to, drag him into the onto the mat you know and she's like you know I told I told him I showed him you when you were fighting boxing and I said you know he's lost 100 pounds and I said oh that's good man you know and I mean that's what it's about man hopefully you know what I've gone through I can help people and maybe save some dude from dying 20 years early who's you know got a wife and kids like me or, or help anybody, I don't know, you know, who knows who you're going to help, some old lady or some kid, you know, anyway, I'm really inspired, I did a boxing class, I'm fasted, it's 9 o'clock, I'm at Planet Fitness in Madison, Tennessee, and I'm about to do a session, I, my first uh, training, little training session with a friend of mine, Wayne Barnes. I don't really know him. I know him through Facebook. I think he's a friend of a mutual friend who passed away, Steve Peterson. So good stuff came, you know, comes out of all things. But he's, I'm just going to jump in with his workout. I said, I just want to jump in, man. I'm good. I, just, I don't care. I just want to move my body. So we're going to be doing shoulders and shoulders and cardio. And I just boxed and did 15,000 push ups. And I'm fasted. So anyway, just wanted to give a shout out to all the boxing people out there. And I just think boxing is the best. I just think it's... And, it, and from there, you get into weight training. You know, when I was at Hotbox, 
Kyle Mims, the owner, he started training me upstairs and <coughs> all things spring eternal from boxing for me. Now, my buddy, who's a, a vocal coach, Brett Manning, says, hey, man, you should come do jujitsu with me. I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second. That sounds like wrestling to me. I don't know. Jiu-jitsu intimidates me. I don't know why, man. It just seems... I told him, I said, you know, I, I'm a guy. I say yes to everything. But I don't know about my fitness level for jujitsu. I just don't know, man. Jiu-jitsu frightens me. <laughs> I see those MMA guys, man. I think they're crazy as all hell. Anyway, if you're fat and you don't know where to start, Start counting your calories every day with my fitness pal. Try not to eat breakfast. Drink a gallon of water and join a boxing class. And you will be light years from where you are now. I guarantee that. I'll guarantee you that in writing. <coughs> oh man, the end of the bronchitis. It feels good though. I slept like 10 hours last night. All right, Planet Fitness. Go back to show you how it's done, y'all. Oh, ah!